Now we're continuing to track the winter weather that's impacting most of East Texas, starting in Longview, where a large house fire destroyed. Armando Jelly Lopez went to that scene earlier tonight. Mata, what can you tell us? Well, Brennan, it was just heartbreaking to see. It was a nearly 4,000 square foot home located on eight acres, and it's now completely gone due to that fire. The good news tonight, though, is that everybody did make it out safely, both homeowners and their pets. Uh, let me show you what this aftermath looked like. It was just after four o'clock when we got there, and Judson firefighters were still working to put out hot spots that kept reigniting. I spoke to the Longview Deputy Fire Marshal, and he tells tells me that the homeowners called the fire in just before 11 o'clock this morning. So it took a lot of manpower and a lot of water to battle these flames. The fire marshal could not tell me where it started because Gregg County is investigating the fire, but they did say that most of it was contained to the attic and upper part of the house. So when that roof all collapsed, it put it down on the living quarters, which caused now you have all that heavy roofing material. This on top of stuff burning, so they got to dig that stuff out to get to those hot spots. It's just a tedious task. And then obviously with it being in the 20s, doesn't help matters any either. Well, thankfully, those homeowners did make it out safe. And while officials did not confirm whose property it was, sources we spoke to did say it was a prominent couple here in Longview and Gregg County. They own a business in town, so you can imagine the support that's going to rally around them once the news comes out of who these people are. Um, of course, we're not going to say it on air right now just because nobody's confirmed that yet, and we do want to give the family some privacy. Um, but as, as soon as we learn more about what exactly is being done, to help the family. We're going to share that with you guys both on air and online. Now, Brennan, before I go, of course, we're talking about this Arctic blast that is hitting East Texas, and I want to show you we're over here in Longview at the Rheumatology uh, Association of Longview, and they have a water fountain that's just completely iced over. I mean, yeah, there's a little bit of water sprinkling right now, and I'm just amazed at the water that is sprinkling, but what isn't? It's just completely all just it's just ice um, and it just goes to show that's the weather story. That's exactly what we're dealing with as these temperatures just continue below freezing. Um, but that's all I have for right now. Of course, I'm going to send it back to you in the studio. I'm reporting in Longview, Marangeli Lopez, CBS 19. All righty, Bada, be safe out there. Thank you for that live report.